Hi, good morning. I just wanted to go through this post with you. Um, if you found this video, then you found the video that's attached. Today's learning engagements are to complete chapter nine, Seed Folks Formative, and to complete the assignment, Do What You Love. And I just wanted to highlight a couple of the pieces um, from Do What You Love. Um, just in case you have forgotten today, you matter, you are loved, you are worthy, you are magical. The next piece I wanted to highlight was to check out um, Sam's drawing channel. Um, it is really cool for sure. Um, there's a lot of awesome content on it and I just um, appreciate him sharing it and you should definitely check it out. It's really cool. Um, and then on the fun side, I like food too. That looks amazing. Um, the next thing that I wanted to show you guys, um, was one of the dialogue responses, um, for the optional extension. Um, this is Lilo's, um, Sam and Wendell. Wendell was sitting in a bar and drinking and then Sam, the bartender asked, have you had enough? Then Wendell, who was drunk says, haven't we had enough killings and shootouts? Sam seems surprised by that fact. Sam replies with, I have and I want to change that. Drunken Wendell mumbles, but Sam keeps going. People are people. We all bleed the same, which is why I think people should change their thinking just because of their skin color. Sam waits for Wendell to answer. He waits many seconds, and then Wendell screams, why can't blacks, whites, and Chinese be friends? But mostly, why don't people respect each other? Why are people always judging each other just because of their skin? People in the bar whisper, and Sam takes him outside to talk. Sam says, you're not wrong, but you must keep this to yourself because not all people agree. Wendell drunkenly nods. Then Sam walks him back to his apartment and bids him good night. Thank you, Lilo, for that fun piece of dialogue, that little creative write. Um, the next thing that I wanted to point out is our Get Outside Padlet. We'll be working with Padlet again next week. Um, and I just wanted to point out how amazing these are. Like so many of the responses are so poetical and the drawings are fantastic and really transport me to another place. Um, so these were very, just very fun um, for me to read and comment on. And then I just wanted to point out that so many people had such excellent responses using the dialogue toolkit. Um, and so I just wanted to, I'll repost this out to you guys, um, just so you can take a look. Because if you posted early on, then you didn't get a chance to see everyone's little drawings and their um, powerful responses. So I encourage you to take a look at this again and then add something on using the dialogue toolkit. Um, just to explore this get outside a little bit. It's definitely an inspirational piece. Um, so I wanted to point that out again. Um, and then the last thing that I just wanted to check in with is on chapter nine, which is the assignment today. There is just a little rubric for you to double check your answers. <clears throat> and so you were looking to support claims with evidence. Um, and then if if you're wondering like about this range over here um, is what we're looking for, I can make a claim thoroughly answering the question, demonstrating my thinking and providing a minimum of two pieces of evidence and the associated page numbers from seed folks to defend my answers. Remember that the pieces of evidence can be paraphrase or direct quotations. Um, <clears throat> and a tip for thoroughly answering each question is to use part of the question in the answer like that clip or snippet part. Um, so if you repeat part of the question in your answer, then you're liable to just be answering the question and not get off topic. And then in terms of demonstrating your thinking, if you wanna meet that piece, um, just ask yourself, what makes you say that? And then jot down the additional response. And that'll ensure that you're clearly demonstrating your thinking. Thank you so much, you guys, for your attention and have a wonderful day.